What is up, people? How's it going? Now, today I'm super, super excited because episode four, Dark Room of Life is Strange, is out. And we're playing it. You guys have been, like, asking me so much about this, and it's just got released. I think it was yesterday. So without further ado, let's play. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! This brings back so many memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Oh, what no. are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh, when I saw this, I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. Oh, my God. Made me feel so sad. Oh, I'm so excited to play this. Yes. We're on the beach. Go on, crab. Make a run for it. <laughs> oh, no. What happened to the whale? Mr. Whale. I think he got beached. Oh wow, there's a lot of whales that got beached. How did that happen? Episode four. Oh yeah. Whales look like they've been attacked. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, 
Pretty much. Yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But what about the whales? But you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Exactly. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Should we talk about the accident? I think we should because I don't even really know what happened to her. Obviously she got in an accident, but we need to find out what accident and how it happened. Talk about accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you oh, no. remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh no. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Oh! This is such a different world than when we were kids. Isn't so she isn't even it? friends with her now. now. Eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. She doesn't even know her. You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Oh, wow, everything's Lented. changed. This is so strange. And what about the beached whales? No one's cleared them up. And there's the lighthouse. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. You have great parents, then. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. 
Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay. Let's go get some water. Wow, she does have, like, a really equipped out room, doesn't she? Big old TV. Snow dough. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. <laughs> Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. She never used to. Let's look out the Does window. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh, it's so sad. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Right, let's go get the water. Okay, it's not out there. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Oh, wow. They're so great. Let's read the board. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Oh, that's I wonder cute. Who this I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I'm sure it did. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. <coughs> Where's the, oh, there's the water. <laughs> that was in another room. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast, dude. I am a pod. Become a YouTuber. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. We were. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, oh, that's I can't cute. Keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce <laughs> and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet they are, damn. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe. Of course it is. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh... I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. 
Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, she is so cute. All right, let's watch some TV. Um, DVD player. Okay, let's have a look in here. Oh my God, I made that mix for her when we were twelve. Oh wow. Okay. And right, we need to turn the TV on. <coughs> oh my God. Max is so cool. Okay, right that was a big sneeze. Okay, how do I turn the TV on? DVD player. Let's look at the DVD so here's player. here's the DVD player. Oh, we need now to find I the DVD. Now I just need to find the DVD. Is it in here? Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Yeah. Right, DVD in player. Let's watch Blade Runner. We are so cute, aren't we? Did I sleep over? I guess I did. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, oh no! Can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the Quick, bathroom? we need to go. Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay, morphine injector. Let's roll. Right, come on, quickly. She's in pain. We need to go. Oh, there he is. The man himself. Right, let's run. Oh. Okay, didn't mean to do that. And the bathroom. Where is the bathroom? Here it is. Can we turn on the light? Oh, oh my god, that scared the life out of me. There we are, now we can see. Okay, so... Morphine injector. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. This game is so sad. I want to cry. Right, quick. Uh, run! Did this used to be the g garage? I think it did. Maybe. I'm not sure. Finally. Right, there you are, Chloe. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. 
I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Did I do it right? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Right. Where is this photo? There we are. Oh. Right, come on. Let's go have a look at some pictures together. Let's reminisce old times. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. I want to know what happens with a lighthouse. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, I feel so bad. So bad. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, maybe I could. Listen, That's Max. us. My respiratory system is failing and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will, too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. What? You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How can you put that pressure on me? Oh, what do I do? I mean, legally... Like, no, I'm not meant to do that at all. Like, that is not right. But if she wants it and she's in so much pain that she wants me to be her last memory, then yes. But there is the possibility that I can maybe rewind time. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to say I don't know. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do
do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. Oh my god. Please. Oh. Help me, Max. I honestly have no I have no idea what to do. Okay, so we can't So yeah, I mean God, if I refuse, then obviously she's living her life in pain and suffering, and she obviously doesn't want to live her life, and if I do it, then I technically kill my best friend, but at least she's happy in a happy place. Oh, but if I refuse, I can potentially bring her back. Can I, though? Okay, she is really not happy with her life, um, so I am gonna accept and help me. no i can't i can't oh what do i do so as a friend i'm gonna help you out okay because that is what it sounds like you want so i'm gonna accept this may be the wrong decision but at least it's gonna help her chloe i'll just drift asleep oh my god dreaming of us here together Forever. This is so sad. Oh my god. Oh, this is so sad. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. Oh my god. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Oh my god. This game. Oh my word. It's happening again. I can focus on the photo. Can I go back in time? Please say I can. I really want to save her. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Oh my god, I'm back. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Wait, that means that her dad's gonna die. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you oh, feel like Oh, this is making I me emotional. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. No, so that means, does, does that mean William's gonna die? Oh no.
Oh no. Oh. I've just changed the whole... Oh, I've changed everything again. I mean, at least Chloe will be... back, but, I mean, her dad won't. 